so the car's not starting and I'll show you what it sounds like. Pretty much, chuck the key in, go to start it, and there's just a rapid ticking sound. So that could be a number of things. Um, one is that the solenoid's going bad uh, or bad connections on the battery. So we'll go test the battery, test the connections and test the solenoid. Test this battery real quick. Let's go on the 10 amp, 10 amp function. So we're getting 19 volts to the battery. So it's definitely on the battery. Um, the other thing can be is if I test the connections. So that one's a bit loose. That one's fine. So I'll try tightening that up, see if it works, but otherwise we're gonna have to test the starter solenoid. Right, so battery's tightened up now. I'll give it a start and just keep my fingers crossed. Zang! Let's go. Just a mechanic guys. Um, now that she's actually running and that's the first part of the day out of the way, um, just rip into the back and suck in the drawer so that's the point. So a couple of jobs for today. Um, I'm going to start off with cutting around these so the wheel arms can pop through. So, if I had done it again, I probably would have leveled the drawers up a bit higher. But I think it should be fine if I just cut out a section so the wheel arms can pop through. And this will be able to sit flush. Um, and then I'm going to redo those back pieces. You can see they're really thin. I'll redo them with the MDF there that Lachlan's got spare from when he did his. Um, and then I want to carpet all of it, but I've only got a few hours, so we'll start with these ones, and then if I get time, I'll do the rest. So we'll dive into that now. I've got a cardboard here that I'm going to crucify it and then just cut. So it, uh, I've got a template for it, and then I'll trace it out onto this and cut this out so it'll fit nice and flush. So I'll rip into it. All right, so that's how my template's looking now. I reckon that'll be pretty good. So um, we'll trace that onto the piece here and then we'll cut that out and see how it fits and then I can just make adjustments from there. Just trace that on there. So now we'll just cut that out. Alright, so that's one side all cut up. Um, yeah, a bit of a rough job, but I'll clean it up later. Just gotta cut this carpet and we'll um, give it a bit of a so test. It's it. much better, but you can see there, just there, that it's still touching. So I might just cut out a little bit more on that side and then hopefully that'll fit good. Alright, so you can see that that sits flush now. So, on second thought, I might not actually cut the carpet because it looks a lot cleaner like that with the marine carpet there. So I reckon I'll just leave it like that. Give you a look. So I pretty much just chopped off about 10 mil from that last clip. 
and now see it's still touching there but since it's like flush i'm not going to chop any off because um yeah that should be fine i reckon all right so now on to the other side um i'm just going to test fit that one that i've just cut on this side because if it works then i'll just be able to use the same um template but if it doesn't then i'll have to make another one so we'll see how we go All right, so it's slightly too big for that spot, but I'll use that template just to get it from there and then we'll cut it down as I need it. So I'll just trace that on now. All right, so that's all traced out on there. So we'll just chop it off now. It's all cut up now. Um, the carpet came off when I was cutting it, so I'll just have to staple that back on a bit of contact adhesive. And um, yeah, we'll just give this a quick test fit. So I'll chop this up there. So I just need to cut down this edge a bit more, I think, by the look of it. So I'll probably take about five, ten mil off that, I reckon, and that should be sweet. All right, I'm really happy how that fits. So we'll get on to carpeting it now. So first one's done, um, looks pretty shit from the bottom but I reckon from the top it looks alright, so give it a bit of a test fit, it's good. Yeah, it fits good, so happy with that, now I'll just move on to the other ones. That's one full side in. I reckon that's looking pretty good. Um, I decided to just wrap the marine carpet underneath just because it's a bit easier than having some overhanging and I think that it'd look really loose if I had it overhanging. So that's how we got it for now. I could change it later and just take the staples out, but um, yeah, I reckon that looks pretty good Just one more to go and then I'll talk you through how I did it. All right, so you can see that I've just laid it flat cut out all squares for the edges so I can lay them over overlap and then on the inside here I've just cut a V so then they'll go like that and it'll cover all the edges and then just fold them up I'll fold these ends ones first and then overlaps on the sides and then yeah so staple them all in and then I'll give you a look when it's done all right that's how it's done so I think it looks pretty good we'll chuck it in Oh, oh. I don't know about you guys, but I reckon that looks mint. So just to clear it up, everything that I've done here has been from the King's um, Universal Wings kit. And then I just had a saw 
and a staple gun. Um, the carpet comes in the wings kit as well. So on the front, I've carpeted both sides, but in the back ones, because they won't come out, I have only carpeted one side. So yeah, these front ones, there's a bit of storage underneath them, but the back ones will just stay put. Um, the other thing is right up the back, I'm gonna leave that. So I was gonna do them in MDF, but I'm not really keen to cut MDF with a handsaw. So I might wait until I'm at dad's and I can use his jigsaw to cut that out and then I'll carpet those two and it'll be looking sweet. But for now, I reckon this is looking pretty good. Uh, that'll be all for today. Really happy with how this came out and um, it was surprisingly easy. So yeah, if that's something you want to do, then get into it yourself. Cause um, yeah, if I can do it, then anyone can. Um, next video will be out on Wednesday. So that'll be a comparison between the head unit that I got versus the head unit that Lachlan got. So he got a head unit for about half the price that I did. Um, so we'll just weigh up the differences so you guys can decide what one you want if you're looking at that. Um, other than that, if you like the video, give us a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, cheers for watching. See you next time.